Oh, what's going on guys? Uh, it's Friday morning. We're over here at the, the, my last house to mow for the week. I ended up skipping one yesterday, which is only had two yesterday. I ended up skipping one anyway. Uh, it's been dry all week. Uh, I think it rained one day maybe, uh, but not a whole lot. It's been cold and then it got hot all of a sudden. It's been, the weather's been up and down, honestly. And uh, pretty much the, I mowed all the yards the other day. They had all grown up and I was afraid I didn't mow them. They looked terrible the next week. Uh, but it was, you know, it was getting there being on the dry level, the dry aspect of things. Uh, probably could have skipped them, they've been okay. Uh, but some areas were definitely grown up and some not as much. Uh, so I went ahead and knocked them all out. Uh, so now we're over here uh, going to mow you know, the beautiful field that we always mow. Um, knock it out. It's grown up. I mow it high, I mow it on like five. So it's always gonna have it's always gonna grow and it grows like crazy in this field i'm gonna knock this out real quick uh get some clips of everything and uh yeah i'll see you guys back here in a minute Back here at the parents house uh it's actually been a few days i uh, went went out for the weekend for my wife's birthday and uh you know kind of put the oil change off for a few days i gotta do a few i got a few do a few things a mower like i said oil change uh, i need to change the blades out i might do that might do that today if i have time uh maybe it probably don't need it but i'm gonna kind of make it a habit of changing it probably about every 50 hours uh they looked i looked at them the other day they don't look too bad uh but i'm gonna do it anyway it is humid as can be outside. I'm gonna change everything and do everything outside anyway. Uh, it's not like pulling everything around and getting everything out in a mess and put it in the garage, all this, yada, yada. So I'm just gonna pull it up on the back of my trailer right here, lift it up and uh, do it that way. And I'm also gonna give y'all a 50 hour review on what I think my mower, it's actually at like 60 hours right now, 61. Uh, it's not too far off. It's a little past 50 hours, but uh, it is it. 60.2 hours so i'll give y'all a little bit of review on that and get a little footage of me change everything out and uh, yeah i'll get back to y'all here in a second All right, guys, before I get in my 50 hour review, uh, if y'all don't mind, please go down and hit the like and subscribe. Uh, we have a goal to reach a thousand subscribers here on this channel. And once we hit that thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do a little giveaway. I got something planned, not a whole, not a big giveaway, but a little something to show appreciation to y'all and uh, give back to the community that we have built here. Uh, but yeah, go down and hit the like and subscribe and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload and you'll be notified when that thousand subscriber giveaway video comes up and tells you how to enter that giveaway. Uh, but that's all I have. Let's get back into the video, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you a little bit of the pros and cons with this mower and things that I do and do do like and don't like about the mower. Uh, there's not a whole lot uh, that I don't like about the mower. I love the mower. Um, completely happy with it. I ain't had, you know, no big complaints yet. Uh, it's just 50 hours, so, you know, we got a long time to go with it. Uh, so, you know, this could change in, you know, the next 100 hours with it. But as of right now, there ain't nothing too crazy. 
but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and kind of show you guys what exactly I do and do not like about the mower. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, for starters, uh, the knobs. I freaking hate the knobs. I ain't gonna lie on that. The knobs are kind of annoying to me. You can get past it, I guess, you know. Uh, but I've tightened the crap up. You can probably put some Loctite. I'm a little afraid to put Loctite on them. Uh, there's ones on the down here they don't they don't come loose down here on the covers no problem with those just the ones on the foot rest or the foot pedal and the uh, arms arm the arms on the mower uh them are loose all the time except for that one that one hasn't really came loose yet but this one right here uh comes loose and that one right there comes loose i lost this on the first time mowing with it i didn't check it because i didn't think to check it when i first got the mower but this came off and i lost it but i didn't lose the, the metal piece right here but i lost the plastic knob I got never found it. Had to go get had to go get another one. They gave me one for free, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, the knob, but this one right here, it's loose all the time now. I don't know what it is. I have to like I tighten it, and two seconds later, it's just loose again. But you can see right now, it's this right here is loose. Like it's locked in, but that is loose where you can adjust it. So I'm going to get some uh, lock washers, lock nuts, uh, do something different besides using these knobs for these because this they just come loose too much, and it's kind of a Annoying thing, uh, something small, you know, you can easily fix it by doing something else instead of using the knob. So not a huge, you know, you know, con, but a little something there. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, the bumper, obviously. Uh, it got ripped off uh, pretty easily, I feel like. Uh, it could have been a little bit, you know, it's just a cosmetic thing, so don't affect, it ain't a big thing with the mower, nothing crazy. But it could have been like a little bit, you know, a little bit something better. Like not the rubber. The rubber is okay, but after it ripped off, I put it back on, and like that muffler got hot, and it fell right back off, like in the field. Like I didn't hit nothing; it just fell right off. So um, it'd been probably a little better idea for a future reference, you know, for if bad boy sees this, to make it like a harder plastic, like some sort of hard metal or not hard metal, but hard plastic type material, you know, something that can take a little bit of a beating but not get ripped off, like instantly or break real easy just like a hard like 3d printed plastic or something you know something like that would have been you know great um third thing which is okay third thing which is kind of a big deal is the uh the way it handles the heel which i had somebody comment on my video and say it was the hydro gear uh uh pumps that i have on these on this mower um i would show them to you but they're kind of pain the honey to get a look at underneath the mower um the hydro gear thing uh, the hydro gear pumps it says the reason don't handle a heel too well if it's on like the littlest slant i avoid a lot of different types of situations with this mower just because i know that it would probably go down in a bad way like it would probably slide down i get stuck so i end up doing a lot more weeding sometimes just because i don't want to take it in a certain area unless i can get full speed around that hill or going up it or going side of it at full speed it, it, you know i have to like it has to be one of those situations for me to take it on a hill, but it will give on a hill. Uh, not really sure. Sometimes it handles a little better than other times, but there's times where I can really tell the difference between a Skag and this mower, which, I mean, obviously, a Skag is, like, probably five more grand than this mower, but, you know, they have, like, Parker. I think they have Parker uh, hydraulics on them, but it just don't handle a hill very well. I don't think it has anything to do with the tires. I think it's just the, the – I reckon it's the hydro uh, – the hydro gear hydraulic pumps on it is what, what I was told. So I may be wrong on that. But it does not handle a heel well, which is what sucks sometimes. Uh, that's probably one of the bigger things. So if you do a lot of heels mowing, uh, I'd recommend getting a little something that can handle a heel a little better. So I know Skaggs handle heels better. I know Xmark handles a heel pretty good. And I know Toro hand handles a heel very pretty good too. So, yeah. Fourth thing, the tread on these tires, which is something you can change also. But they will tear the grass up, okay? And you make a 360 turn. 180 turn without doing a three-point turn this will tear the grass up if it has like that not so thick grass like real four-leaf clover type grass you know what i'm talking about uh it will tear a a good little dirt spot in that grass uh so you can change tires you know ain't no big deal either ways looks i'm gonna keep them for now it's okay ain't that big of a deal for me uh okay so fifth thing which is something that's kind of small that i noticed here recently uh the deck height I love the deck high thing. No complaints on the deck high, like, you know, how this raises and stuff. But when you push the foot, foot pedal in, uh, this piece right here does not go all the way down. You have to kind of force it down, not force it down, push it down with your hand the rest of the way to lock it in. Uh, it, used, <laughs> it used to just fall into place, but I got rained on one day, and it kind of, I don't know if it just kind of stiffened it up a little bit. It made this need a little WD-40, WD nothing too crazy. But that right there is kind of nothing big. 
probably could fix it easily if I looked into it. But sometimes it just don't go all the way down. I have to kind of push it down with my hand. Uh, I did it a few minutes ago and it went down just fine. But there's days I'm mowing and it just don't go down. Not a big deal. Something little, you know, probably could fix it with some WD-40, some oil or something to spray it down with. Okay. Not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Uh, another little thing is these little uh, hydraulic oil uh, tanks, I guess you would say. Uh, they leak a little bit. I'm not sure if it's like that on every other mower, but they leak and they you get a lot of, you can kind of already see where I cleaned it off. But this whole top part will be covered in like dirt and dust and stuff where that hydraulic oil leaks out on top of there. On both of them it does it. Uh, not a big deal. Something little, you can clean it. Uh, these are, these are they're, they're tight too. I'm trying to check them, they're tight, but... I guess just one of those things, you know. Um, let's see. You get a lot of debris stuck behind the battery in this little wall right here. A lot of debris stuck, stuck there. Something little. You got to clean that out every so often. Uh, sometimes you smell a fire burning from a stick on the back side of this muffler. Nothing big on that. Uh, I had a little fire cooking behind me one day. I was like, man, something's burning. I turned around and got a stick on fire. Not on fire, but it was about to be back here on this muffler. It gets hot. I put a sticker back here. Um, that was a mistake by me because it peeled off within like 15 minutes of mowing. So I'm going to give me another Tennessee sticker to put on the side. You know, I'm sure there's going to be some hate on that, but definitely need a Tennessee sticker on the side of this mower. You know, make it look better. You know, anything Tennessee makes a mower look better. So, um, the braking system, this is another little thing. It's probably a bigger little issue, but the braking system, you might as well not even have a brake on there because it, this thing, you, if you're on a hill, like I said, like if I'm just on a little bit of slant, turn the mower off with a brake and get off of it, it will roll. It will start rolling a little bit. That's why I always strap it down in my videos. I always have it strapped down because some people can just pull their mower on their trailer and then, you know, just go with the flow. Uh, mine, I pull it on there and I, I, I barely go down the road and the things in the back end of it sliding all over the place. I have to strap it down. It's like the e brake's not even there. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I know Skags uh, do better than that because my buddy, I have a buddy has a Skag. Brother in law has a Skag. Uh, I have a buddy that has an X mark. Don't have that issue. They don't ever shut theirs down. Maybe it does move all the place, all, all over the place. I haven't noticed, but this thing just freaking goes. I don't know why. Brakes non existent. Okay. Also, one more con the deck right here. This thing, you have to take this off the foot, you have to take the foot knob off just to get underneath here and look at your belts and whatnot, which is kind of stupid. I don't understand why they did that, but, uh, just a little thing, a little pet peeve, uh, but nothing too crazy. That could that could be changed easily for bad boy to do something different with that. Get rid of this, I guess. Uh, no, well, I don't know. Just do something different besides having this in the way. Because uh, I know you could probably just lift it. If they put it up here on the front, you could lift it up from the front and get rid of this. Then, you know, this probably wouldn't matter. But they have to pick it up from back here. It's hitting that. It's kind of pain in the hind end. Uh, but, not, you know, I ain't really got to clean any of that out any anyway. So, you know, um, that's fine. But yeah, that is pretty much all the cons that I have for right now. Nothing too crazy, nothing too big, uh, just 50 hours. So I haven't had nothing too crazy besides the surging issue, which I got fixed, warranty, didn't cost me anything. Uh, but yeah, that's all for it is for the cons. Uh, time to get on with the pros. So the pros of this mower is that it mows great, uh, stripes real well. It has a little stripe here on the backside. I'm not sure if that's the reason it stripes so great, but it came with a stripping kit. It's on the backside of the deck. Stripes perfectly fine looks just as good as any other mower if not better uh second thing the look of the mower looks amazing i love the look of it i love the feel of it it looks good mowing looks good with the on it you know can't complain there third thing is the uh the ride this one of the most comfortable rides i've had with the mower it sits great um can't complain there great ride on the mower love it can't complain uh the air ride seat you know you bounce a little bit here and there on some bumpy you know, some bumpier, yard, bumpier yards, but it'd be way better than some other mowers. You have some, I don't have no back problems at the end of the day. Say that I can say that. Um, the f next thing, uh, gas wise, does great on gas. No problems with that. Uh, I feel like it. I can mow a lot with the full tank. I think it's about five, six gallon tank. About six gallon tank. I, I say. Um, I still love the deck height uh, thing. The knob, it's great. I, I'd rather have a knob in the pen, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just easy, convenient. The pen's kind of got to pick it out, put it in the hole, which it ain't too bad either. But I, I do like the knob height thing, so deck height. Uh, it's just convenient, easy. Um, no complaints underneath. Nothing's falling apart. Uh, no problem with the tires yet or the bearings inside the, the front tires. 
had nothing big problems with the mower. All, all in all, I can say it's been a great mower so far. Uh, I would recommend getting one if you want one. It's not, not a terrible price point. Good good start mower. Uh, good mower for really to have in general for any business. I'm a starting mower. It's a good mower to have. Um, there's better mowers out there. There's worse ones out there. Uh, just depends on what you're looking for and what you want. But, you know, if you want a mower that mows good, feels good, looks good, uh, this is probably a mower for you, and I recommend it for you to get it. So, Also, I never got a clean out underneath there either. These don't ever get debris underneath those covers. That is great. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of dirt or a lot of grass trapped underneath the deck either. They got to clean out. I looked today. There were little pieces here and there, but nothing crazy. Um, it's nothing too, nothing too crazy there. Uh, but, yeah, I ain't ever got to clean anything underneath the deck. Hardly ever. There ain't a whole lot of grass that builds up underneath there. Underneath them covers, underneath that, underneath the seat. Just random spots you'll find grass there, here and there gathered up. It's clean out, but nothing too crazy. One more thing that I forgot to add that this mower does is that it does not bog down. Uh, at least I haven't had it bogged down yet. And I've mowed wet grass. I've mowed some thick grass that was wet also. And I haven't had it bogged down yet. So it has 27 horsepower Kawasaki motor on it. Uh, so, I mean, no complaints there. Does not have an issue mowing through some thicker grass. Uh, so, there's that. If you ever, you know, if y'all mow a lot of fields or anything like that, or high, high grass, ever buy weeklies or anything like, anything like that, it doesn't have a problem doing that. Uh, it cuts through just fine. Uh, so, there's that. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this mower review. It ain't a whole lot of stuff going on with it. You know, like I said, few pros, few cons. Uh, but all in all, it's a good mower. I recommend to anybody get one. It's a good price point. Uh, ain't too overpriced. Uh, there's a lot worse worse mowers out there. There's a lot better mowers out there. Uh, you know, it depends on what video you're watching. So, but you know, you're gonna come here, you get an honest review from me. Uh, I love it. You know, would I buy it again? Yes. Uh, would I get a, a Skag or a Toro or a, a Spartan or X Mark or any of those mowers? Yeah, I get one of those. I wouldn't mind trying John Deere out too. I'm down for anything. Like I said, really what it comes down to to me is the cut and how good it looks mowing. Uh, not good it looks, but how how good it looks mowing, like the grass, the grass, how good the grass looks. Um, as long as it mows good and cuts through and doesn't bog down a whole bat, like a lot, it's like that, uh, then we're good. This, this is another thing. This one don't bog down either. I had no problems with it bogging down. Wet grass, thick grass, I had no problems with it yet. It's 27 horsepower Kawasaki mower, so a motor, so all in all good. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna change these, the change this all out, and uh, try to change these blades out uh, if I can. If not, I'll worry about it next week. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have, guys, for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did make it through the video this long, please go down there and hit the like, subscribe. If you want to see more of this content, uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time uh, I upload a video. And uh, leave a comment on any future video ideas or any questions you have about the mower. If there's anything I left out that you think that should be in this video please let me know and I'll put it in the next video and talk about it and put your comment and uh, mention you or something like that in the next video. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for today, guys. Hope you all have a good week, good weekend, whatever it is for y'all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.